Wow, AI just edited my 20 minute video in less than 60 seconds. Now, if you'd like to learn a bit more about how that was done, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula, and here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. All right, confession time. This this video is a little bit clickbaity. I said it could be done in 20 minutes, but in actuality, it's going to be a 32 minute video it's going to be cutting back on, and it's only going to take less than 60 seconds. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, I've already got my intro placed in here, and I've also, if I shrink this down, I can show you what I've got. Over here, I've got my intro, my main body, and I also have over here my outro. And as you can see, that is a 32 minute and 21 second video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this. And then once I've done that, I'll be able to turn it over into a video that I can then cut it back in about 60 seconds. Now, the longest part of this is going to take is the rendering. The rendering is also going to be taking longer, but the actual editing time that I'm going to be doing is going to be far, far less time. So let's do that. So I'm just going to go over here and we're going to export that. Now here we get a place called Time Bolt. Now Time Bolt will literally cut out all of the blank air in your video. Now the thing I like about this is the fact that you can, it'll just do it automatically for you and as long as you have your settings set up correctly, it'll do it in a really nice clean way. So I'm just going to go grab a video right now. We're going to chuck it straight in here and I'll show you the settings as we go around. So I'm just going to quickly grab a video and then we're going to just throw this straight in here. Now I'm going to grab this particular video here. Now remembering this particular video is 32 minutes long. Now I'm going to check out the time. It is now, I'm just timing it from now and I'll let you know how long this actually takes. As you can see, it's flying through. You can see by how many minutes it's going through 17 minutes and it's almost 32 minutes in a minute in just a moment. It'll be 32 minutes. There we are. It's now getting the audio track, getting everything red, buffering, and it will be finished in just a moment. I'm still timing it. Still less than a minute. It's just buffering, and in just a moment, it will be finished. Riding the wave chunks. Okay, and it'll be over in less than 60 seconds, I'm hoping. Don't make a liar out of me. Come on. Don't make a liar out of me. Computer, don't make a liar out of me. Here we go. 25, 30, 55 seconds. <laughs> so it was less than a minute. It took 55 seconds to go, but it was really good. I'm really pleased to see that. So as you can see, this has got quite a lot of broken air. So as you can see, I've got a lot of areas here where it's just blank air. Now I'm going to quickly take you down through this area here so you can actually have a look at all the filters. Now I'm just going to take you down a little bit here so as you can see what's going on. All right, so this has got here filter below sound level decibels. Now just keep that one as, but what I like to do is have my silence removed at 0 0.5 seconds. I ignore anything over 7.75. Left padding, I like to do at 0 0.09 and the right padding I like to have at 15. Now, if you don't know what padding is, that is when you have the distance between here and here or here and here. And the reason why I have that is so is it, that way it doesn't really eat into any of your actual data that you want to keep or any of the things you want to keep. So you can also fast forward through silence if you wish to. And if you were to do that, you click on that and that will then allow you to be able to find se sections that you want to fast forward through. Say, for example, you're showing somebody something and you want to avoid the boredom of it happening too slowly, you can then fast forward through it and it'll do it silently for you. And therefore you can add your background music if you wish to. You can also add background music if you want to. And you can also add to render cube. Now what I like to do when I'm doing this is I like to have a bit of a look through here and by scrubbing through very quickly. And that allows me to be able to see if there's been any mistakes. Now you can have a look over here. You can see there's a waveform there with something in it. But I don't think that's an important one right now. So I'm pretty sure when I've gone through this before, it was okay. As you scroll through, now there's one here. Let's have a look here. I'm going to push, put my 
Now you see, when you go through it, let me show you what happens when you first start off. It literally jumps from one section to the next, and it jumps over the top of these areas here. Let's press play, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Don't you hate it? When you see a tile that's so enticing that you have no choice but to click on it, only to find out that the video has absolutely nothing to do with the video you only to find out that the You see that's the thing, when you make a mistake like that, you can literally just come over here, scroll back just a little bit. All of this here can be deleted. So what I'll have to do is just click on that and when I click that line, you've got the two lines, you've got your sound wave area, and you've got this little line above here. It's currently green on this one and it's red on this one. Now if I was to also decide that I wanted to fast forward through a silent part. I could do that here and I could go fast forward and click on that. And then I can choose the speed time if I wish to by doing this, by having that there. I can choose whether it be twice as fast, three times as fast or four times as fast. But let's have a look at what that looks like. And that's now come up as orange. Or if you click on it again, it'll come up as green or you can turn it into red. But I'm going to remove that because I don't want to keep it. I'm actually going to remove that just by clicking on it again and that'll stop it and then everything will go back to being red. Okay, so let's continue on. You can hit it by pressing play. Only to find out that the title has absolutely nothing to do with the video. There we are. Now what you can do is continue scrubbing through and having a look. Oh, there's another bit here. Do I need to keep this part? Do I want to keep that part? What you need to do, you can't do from over here. If you're in the green section and you press play, it'll skip over it. But if you want to find out what it actually says, you just click inside the square just there and you find out. And because that's already got or and or, we can leave that over there. We don't need to worry about that one. So what you do is you just keep scrubbing through and you can have a look at all of the blank spaces that they have removed. Now, some things there you might want to have a look and make sure. I scroll through quickly just to make sure that there aren't any that have been filled up by accident or have things in there they shouldn't have. For example, this one. I don't know if it's if it's okay or not. For example. Okay, so for example, I would probably keep. Now, let's say for example, I want to keep this area here. I'm going to click right there, and I'm going to hit the split button just here, or I can hit S. I'm going to click the split button just there. Then I'm going to now click it on the inside of this line just here. Not don't click up there. Click on the inside here, and then hit split. And then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to hit that. And as you can see, that is available. So when I click here, I can hit press play. You see what I'm saying? You can now do that and you just keep scrubbing through until you have a look and see what you've got here. And as you can see, oh, a little bit of extra space there. Let's now get rid of some of that. I'm now going to just go to hit the S button and then that does that. And all I have to do is hit that bar just there. And there's another bar just there which I can remove the silence from. So let's keep going. It's not 100% perfect. But I can tell you right now, it has sped my editing time up no end. Okay, now I do want to definitely keep that. So I'm just going to go here. Just going to hit the slice button just there. I'm going to put it here, maybe about there, a little bit further along. And then hit the S button again. And then I'm going to click that green, click that red bar just there. Now it's now turned green. And that one is now something we want to keep. Let's keep going. Okay, I think this one's okay, but I'll double check. No, I think that one's okay. It's avoided an unnecessary word. Let's go here. Now. Yep, it did. When you use words like now, now is a filler word. So it'll often you it'll take away the filler words because they're words that don't need to be there. And it makes the makes the video sound boring if you do it too often. Now I do know for a fact that there are more mistakes in this video. And if I was to go through the entire video from beginning to end, I would bore you. Because I would have to go on through every single bit of this video to make sure that I have removed, made sure that I've picked up on all the mistakes that I've made and fix up all the mistakes I've made. Let me just press play here. So, you know, you look at that. I'm going to keep that so. In fact, I'm going to just cut it there, hit S and get there, hit S, and we'll just remove that part and we'll remove that part just there. In fact, I'll even just hit it there, S, and then just go there done. So as you can see, you can take away a lot more space by doing that. And it, so as you can see, there's very little work I have to do when it comes to removing the blank space. It does it all for me and I'm scrolling through and to be perfectly honest, it's very, very little I have to keep and so forth. So let's press play there. Of course. It's a good thing to have. Okay, now I'm going to say of course, I'm going to keep the of course. I'm going to hit that there, hit click that and then go over here, click that and we're going to keep that section just here. 
and as you can see it's just going so smoothly hardly any time to do this oh there's another one let's have a quick look and remembering this is a 30 minute video and we are almost a third of the way through okay so it was just a filler word we don't need that one scroll through now i do know from previous efforts because i had to edit this earlier and i do know that i have to change a certain thing a few things around but, but what i will do is from this i will show you once i finish scrolling through here how much this has actually removed from a 32 minute video. look here I'm not sure if i want to keep that or remove it so, uh, yeah. just fill a word okay let's keep scrolling through and as you can see oops i'm going to get rid of that that's just rubbish and get rid of all that now there are as i said there's a lot more editing to do apart from what i'm doing now but you do want to just make sure you get rid of any little blank spaces you don't want to keep in case it misses it or if you have your settings not quite set up correctly now i've got my settings set up the way i like it but it does require a little bit more effort sometimes, but not too bad. Let's have a look at what that word is. Really? Okay, now that's okay. I'll get rid of that. That's going to be not even part of the video, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to remove all this. And as you can see, it is just good. So let's go here. Press play. Okay, so far, doing really well. Oh, do I see one? Yep, what's this one? Okay, some more filler words. I just like to double check to be sure. Now I'm going to pause the video while I go through the rest of this. This will only take a moment or two, and I'll then render the video. I'll show you how to render the video. Then once we've done that, we can then go ahead and can finish the job altogether. Okay, let's go back here. What's that? Two. No. Okay. All right. So let's keep going. I'm going to pause the video while I do this. Okay, that literally only took me a couple of minutes to do, and I have to say I'm seriously impressed. This has literally saved me hours. Now, I'm going to be showing you how we can then render this. Now, what we need to do is go down to the bottom, down to the very bottom, where it says add, re add to render queue. Now, the first thing you need to do is add this to a queue because you may have several videos going at once. Now, this one is going to be added to a queue. And then you can just now hit render queue. You hit that. And that will then bring this one up here. And as you can see down the bottom here, you've got render task queued one. And this is where you will find the, the actual render. And then what we're going to do is we're now going to start rendering. And I'm just going to click on that. And it will then begin to render. Now, this does take a while. So I will definitely be pausing the video while I'm waiting for it to render. Now, all videos take a long time to render. It is inevitable and it's something you can't avoid. However, in the meantime, this is only going to take a very short period of time once it has been done. All I have to do then is just cut out the parts I don't want. In fact, I could have done that in this and then add extra transitions, any overlays I wanted to do and so forth. And then it'll be all finished Add my music and it's done. Now, as I said, I literally had this done in virtually no time. Now, I do know for a fact that there are parts of the video that I will need to remove because I have already previously edited this video and I know that there is a lot more involved. I've, this is a 32 minute video and Time Bolt, along with Time Bolt and my other, pre, and my other ed editing, it brought it down to a 12 minute video. So that is a major amount of chunk of area that is done. Now I'm gonna pause the video and we'll see when I, when I haven't taken out all the other stuff that I wanted to take out, I wanted to see how much video I've actually managed to save in my editing process. So I'm meaning, I want to see how much video I've managed to cut out during my editing process. All right, so I'm going to pause it until it's finished. So just be to show you that this is a 32 minute video. You can actually see over here where it says 32.14 minutes. And that's what we're going to be judging it from, from once it becomes downloaded. And we can have a better look at what it looks like. So once it does that, we can actually see what how much it actually loses. And then we can calculate how much blank air we actually saved. All right, now that we're back, let's go and have a quick look at the video and we'll see how long how much time we actually saved so it's this particular one i'm just going to quickly open this up and then once we do we can then have a quick watch and see how much time we have actually saved with this new video give it a moment to wake up and then we can then have a quick look there we are that's gone from 32 minutes down to 18 minutes and that's without any further editing that's without me taking away content that i want to remove now this 
I ended up getting down to 12 minutes doing this using that particular software. Now with this I have to say there is further editing to do besides cutting more out. There's also things like overlays, sound effects, music, all that sort of stuff. But apart from all that, this has pretty much been completely done. Okay, so this is called Time Bolt. Now I will leave a link for this in the description down below and I would highly suggest check it out because it is worth it. It has literally saved me hours of work and I know I'm going to be able to pump out way more videos now that I have this and it's going to cause it's going to be a lot more productive than I ever have been in the past. Right so that literally saved me around 15 minutes of my video time between 14 to 15 minutes of my video time. So that now that's how much air it removed for me in a matter of less than 60 seconds and that would normally take me a couple of hours to do. So this has now made me a heck of a lot more productive. Now over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And over here is an image of my head and if you decide to click on that you'll be able to subscribe. Alright guys thank you so so much for watching and bye for now.